What's up, y'all? It's your man, Chaz Ellis, once again. I'm responding to a question that I got from Facebook. This is a segment that I do called Best Question of the Day. You guys send me questions. You can send them to me on YouTube, or you can send them to me on Facebook, or you can send them to me through Twitter at Ask Chaz Ellis. Facebook, you can hit me up on Charles Chaz Ellis. And Twitter, you can hit me up on the channel you obviously own. So, um, the question that I got was... Um, how do you know if your girl is cheating? Which I was like, that's that's a good one, you know. I had to think of it because women cheat a little bit different than men. Because most of the time when men cheat, they don't necessarily cheat to end a relationship. A lot of times men cheat just because they, they trying to get some pussy. Simple as that. When women cheat in general, it's because they actually do want to end the relationship. So everything I tell you about in terms of a female cheating is going to be basically a female wanting to end a relationship because that's generally why they do it. Even if it's not like right on, on the surface they're trying to end the relationship, usually if they get caught, that's the direction it goes in. Almost every single time across the board. So, um, the, one of the biggest things you look at to kind of tell you that a, that a female is going to end a relationship is when people start coming out of nowhere. That's male and female. You got to look at the fact that... Because what women like to do before they cheat on you is because, like I said, when they cheat, they want to end the relationship. What women like to do is they like to broaden their, their range because a lot of times they haven't necessarily picked a person they want to cheat on you with. So they try to go... They try to like be around different people. You know, they're going to try to bring new girls into the, the group that they might hang out with. Somebody who's going to be more okay with the new lifestyle that they're going to be leading, which is cheating on your ass. If a dude, if a dude cheats, it usually ain't that much thought that goes into it. So we don't make all these kind of moves. But women, usually when they're going to cheat on you, they start bringing new girls into the fold. Or maybe a new dude that's a friend of theirs that they might end up cheating with in the future. But... You're going to see new people start to come into the fold. And that's when you can kind of tell that it's going down. That the cheating move is going to be the next thing. So you got to really be careful about that. When you see new people coming in, that's when you need to look at it like it may be ready to go down right now. So that's not, like I said, independently it ain't necessarily something. But it's something you need to watch out for. New people coming in and out. Um. Along with new people coming in and out, they start doing several new activities. Things they never wanted to do before. Um, stuff like, you know, they might be like, yeah, I'm, I'm about to join a ski club. or I don't fucking know. They might be, you know, wanting to ride motorcycles or something. And you're like, what the fuck? You never did that shit before. Why are you riding motorcycles all of a sudden? They like to start doing different stuff. Because like I said, a lot of times they haven't necessarily picked the dude that they want to cheat with. By the time they start showing signs, they're going to cheat. A lot of times they're looking for the dude. They actually kind of put in a situation together where they're planning on... They may not they may not even know on the surface that they're planning on cheating on you, but they are. And what they do is they start trying to find new things and new places to hang out so they can meet more people. That's just widening the pool of people that they're going to pick from to cheat on you with. So that's something to look at. Those changes. New people coming in their life. Going to new places and doing new things. Like getting involved in a lot of new things. Because you also got to remember, when a woman is going to cheat, she's planning on leaving. So she's also widening her circle and finding new things to do that's going to replace the time that she used to spend with your ass. She's going to be doing some new things that's going to that's gonna help her out when y'all break up after you finally find out about the cheating or whatever. Or she just dumps you. She wants to be able to have some stuff set up for her to be able to do. To, you know, occupy her time so she ain't thinking about your ass. Um, another thing you got to look for is a lot of women are really open. A woman that's on the up and up is open. That's straight up. If a woman is on the up and up, she's open. Women are not secretive in terms of their stuff. They're really not. If your girl is secretive in terms of her stuff... It's generally because of the fact that she's probably doing some shit she ain't got no business doing. Women usually, 
They don't really have a lot of passwords and stuff that you don't know about. Like, they, go, they got a password on their computer. They generally just tell it to you. They're like, oh, yeah, it's right here. Yeah, there's a the password. Go right ahead. Because they don't really have anything to hide. When women are cheating, that's another thing you can look for. Phone passwords change. Computer passwords change. Facebook passwords change. Email passwords change. All kind of stuff that used to be just easy access is no longer easy access. No, they no longer leave their phone laying around. They no longer leave their um, computer laying around, stuff like that. These things are starting to get sealed up. Where they used to be in a situation where, you know, they let you use it anytime and they didn't care. Now everything is a big deal. Like, don't be touching that. Don't be messing with that. Why are you looking at that? Got to look at that. Got to be careful of those things. When you start seeing things that used to be open book become secretive, definitely something to look out for. Um, women like to leave you completely assed out. What a breakup. When women, because you got to remember, like I said, when a woman is cheating on you, it's generally part of a breakup. This is generally a way to to um, to separate herself from you. The, the other dude isn't usually really the big deal as much as it is they just want to get away from your ass and they don't necessarily want to be alone when they do it. So when a woman cheats on you, that's something you got to look at. You got to look and make sure that all your bills are paid. Like, because that's a good way to figure out whether or not your woman is cheating on you. If, or she's about, like I said, when they do want to cheat, they do the same stuff they're going to do when they want to leave. When a woman wants to leave you a lot of times, you'll look and see light bills haven't been paid. Your rent might be to the point where you're ready to get evicted. So these are some things, if you suspect some of this other stuff and she might be cheating on you, make sure you check that shit out. Check and make sure the rent has been paid. Check and make sure your car payment got paid. Check and make sure, because you, you might have her in charge of all your bills at your house. Check and make sure your light bill got paid. Because all your shit will probably get cut off. When her and Clarence leave together, all your shit go most likely get cut off. And you're fucked. So that's something you want to look at. Because women love to leave a nigga assed out. Completely. It makes it so that, number one, you, you're not going to necessarily be able to come back after them or anything like that because you're in your own world of hurt. Plus, a lot of times women want the option to be able to come back to you. And if you all fucked up, then it's a better chance for them to come back to you. Plus, it's also a better chance that you ain't going to find nobody else because you fucked up. So be careful of that shit. Check all your shit. Make sure your, your phone ain't about to get cut off. Your lights ain't about to get cut off. Because I promise you, if she's cheating on you and getting ready to leave, you're probably assed out, bro. You just don't know it. Your bank account might be depleted. Check. Check all of that shit. When you start suspecting this stuff, you better watch the finances. Um, another thing, and this is like, you would think it'd be on the first of the list. And for guys, sometimes it is, but for women, it's not. But it's kind of down in the, in the order of things. Sex slows down or stops completely. This ain't for every cheater. Some women are cheat and they do like what I would call a turnaround. Like they'll fuck a, another dude on, at 5 o'clock and they'll fuck you at 6. Disgusting. But chicks do shit like that too. So you got to be careful of that. But something to look at is also is the slowdown in sex or a complete stopping completely. And I mean they will cut you off completely. Like to the point where you just don't even, you can't even get a hand job. It's that crazy. And women do that a lot of times because most women only want to fuck one dude at a time. So if they're cheating on you, for the most part, they stop fucking you because they're fucking him. And they've already got the guy, you know, it's an emotional connection that's starting to become part of their situation. So they don't want to fuck you no more. Sucks, but that's the way it is. Um, another thing you got to look at is you will never be able to have a good time again. She'll always start an argument. Um, if you invite her somewhere, like, oh, baby, I want to take you to have a candlelight dinner and I'm going to give you a massage and, you know, we're going to make love and blah, 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 blah. She's not going to want to do it. She's going to find some reason to stop because she doesn't want to have good days with you. She doesn't want to have a good time with you. She doesn't want you to do anything sweet and kind to her. 
She doesn't want you to be nice to her. Because what you got to remember is like, when a woman is cheating on you, for the most part, they need a certain amount of justification to do so. So if you're being nice to them, and you're giving them good days, treating them right and all that kind of stuff, even after you've been an asshole for maybe the past little while or whatever, now you're trying to do the right thing or whatever. If a woman is cheating on you, she's not going to want you to do that. So she's going to start an argument with you to keep you guys fighting. Because you got to remember, your behavior is her excuse for why she's cheating on you. So if you if you start behaving properly, if you start acting like you got some sense, and you start doing some things for her, being nice to her, taking her places, yada, 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 that's making her feel bad. It's like pouring hot coals on top of her. Because you're making her feel bad about everything she's doing. She's like, man, I'm cheating on this fool. And he taking me out here to get something to eat. And massaging me. And, you know, doing all this nice stuff for me. And I'm dogging this man like that. A woman's not going to want to do that. So they're going to want to keep arguing with you at all times. As much as they possibly can. Fight, 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 fight. So they're not going to accept anything kind or anything good that you try to do for them. It's fucked up, but that's the way it is. Um, they no longer want you to go anywhere with them. This is the last thing, and this is one of the biggest things you really need to look at. They no longer want you to go anywhere with them. Now, men, some men may not know this, but it's one of the truest things you'll ever hear. There's two types of women in this world. Women that want you to be up under them almost all the fucking time, and women that don't like you. When a woman really likes you and has love for you, she's going to want you to be places with her. Shit she could be doing by herself, but she wants your ass there because she loves you and she wants you around. She wants people that know her to see you. She wants your company. She wants your time. She can do the shit by herself, of course. She's grown. She's been doing the shit by herself. But she doesn't want to. She wants to do it with you. So when a woman is cheating on you, you get the opposite effect. Where they used to want you to go everywhere with them. Like, yeah, I'm about to go to the grocery store. You want to come with me? Um, yeah, I'm about to go to my mother's house. You want to come? I'm about to go hang out over one of my friends' house. You know, you want to come? You know, She's offering you in it, it to come everywhere with her. Now that y'all, that she's cheating on you, it's a totally opposite thing. Like, you might even suggest that you go. Like, yo, you going to the mall? I'll go with you. She's like, ah, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And the reason why she's doing that is because she no longer wants your damn company. Number one, she wants the other dude to come. Number two, she don't want people to see y'all together anymore. Number three, it's also part of the excuse that she's creating in her head for why y'all she has the right to cheat on your ass. She'll cheat on you and they'll be like, you never spent any time with me. Bitch, you've been telling me not to come anywhere with you. But see, she's getting that in her head. People need justification a lot of times, and that's a great justification. So, big thing there. Basically, to kind of sum it all up, what you want to look for is major changes in behavior. Major changes in behavior. Because most of the time when somebody does a major change in behavior, it's it's all around. Especially when they make several major changes in behavior. That means that they're looking for another place to go. And it probably ain't with your ass. Best thing you want to do when you start figuring this stuff out is before you even confront the girl, make sure you got your shit straight. Because you're probably on a one-way ticket to Bootyville. Broke to the motherfucker. Get your shit together. Make sure you're ready to have her leave or whatever she wants to do. Make sure she ain't wiped you out completely. Make sure that you're at least halfway straight. That's my advice for you guys. Good question. Please keep asking them. Um, you can, like I said, you can hit me up on Facebook at Charles Chaz Ellis or Twitter at um, Ask Chaz Ellis. Or you can also hit me up on here and ask the questions. Leave a comment in the box below. Appreciate y'all. Peace.